Worst introduction to D&D that I experienced. What's the worst intro you've ever experienced? I'm okay with a character dying, but not like in the story related below. DM screws the pooch. 92 or 93. First time ever playing D&D. My friend had me roll up a character. Got outfitted and whatnot. DM, friend, had me leave town. I encountered a giant on the road. Yay, random encounter. DM asked, what do you do? I attacked. Natural 20. Roll again. Natural 20. Roll again. Natural 20. Of course. Yeah. We all stood up and clapped. (laughs) (laughs) Killed the giant. And then the hand of God reaches down and crushes my character. Fucker couldn't figure out how to do a quest giver encounter. So once I killed the quest giver, he killed my character. I didn't get back into D&D until two years ago due to that first time. I don't know. I think that, like, you know, a lot of the time whenever it's people's first time experiencing it, generally speaking, they're going to be playing with, like, new DMs as well. Mm-hmm. So, like... No, not really. Uh, Some- sometimes it depends. It depends, like, you know. And I feel like, you know, if it's a new DM, they don't really know what they're doing either all yeah, that much. But I smell so- bullshit in the three natural 20s, just <laughs> yeah. saying. Yeah, I suppose it's kind of hard. <laughs> <I> smell it. <laughs> all right, next post. Worst intro I had, the DM in charge never read the monster manual. So when it came to setting hit point totals, he opted to go with what he knew. The problem was, what he knew was Final Fantasy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's quality. That's, 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 that's funny. That's honestly, that, that is funny. So our early game boss fight had an enemy with hit points into triple digits, while the rest of us couldn't breach past single digit attacks unless we got a crit. Oh, I don't, I, I don't even have words. I, I don't have <laughs> I, words. I'm sorry, mate, but like, see if you want to be a DM, you go, you go. It's a, it, is, it is a bit of a must yeah. to at least lead the monster data states. You know what I mean? Just, just, just check them out. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it is important. You know. Maybe something to check out. I don't know. I played in a level 10 3.5 edition game in college, where the DM wanted to combine elements of two different monsters. He has no idea what he's doing, so he just added every single one of their stats together and called it a day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, honestly, there's something almost endearing about that. Like, tell me that. It's, like, tell me it's not a, a, it's a wee bit endearing. You know, it's like, oh, it'll be okay. Don't worry. He's an adorable little. You know what I mean? Don't worry about it. Leave him be. Leave him be. He's having fun. <laughs> My first time playing was when a girl who liked me got me into your grip. The DM had a huge crush on her. Me and the girl spent a couple of hours making my character about a week before the campaign started. But in the downtime, she told me her feelings. I was taken at the same time, so I told her no. She then told the DM to kill me the first chance he got. Fast forward to the first session. We wake up in a cave and a rock falls on my head and kills me. What What? the fuck? Why why would you even bother going to sleep with even showing up? Uh, like you know, like I'm sorry. Just because he has a girlfriend and she and he didn't want to go with her, he's like, kill him. <laughs> is this like kill a Cersei? Is... Suck your dick. Is this like a Cersei and Jimmy Gomester yeah, moment? Not, yeah, it is. Jimmy, finish him. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh god, I don't know. Like, <laughs> like, 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 all I'm saying is, at least you managed to get out of some horrible lot of ghoul play scenes. Yeah. Just saying. And can you imagine? Somebody how... replied there saying two bullets dodged. Shitty game, shitty girl. Yeah, yeah. honestly, that's spot on. That's spot on. It was probably the best thing that could have happened for you. My first time was the ever so ironic. Someone tried to seduce the dragon. I've never experienced that. No. I'm kind of happy. Yeah, so I'm, am I. I'm happy I've never came across that. A guy at our table who joined in, this was a club at college at the time, always had the trail of any female, of a monstrous race especially, that is creepily obsessed with monster girls. He met would ask them to bear his children. <laughs> oh my god. That's a nice way. <laughs> Will you take my seed? <laughs> <laughs> so our DM had us start going into a dragon's den. Not any normal one though, because this one had multiple colours working there. And we were to find a dragon egg while the army distracted the dragons because the king wanted it for some ritual. That's not evil at all. No, that, sure that, doesn't. That, that should not be like an alarm bells <laughs> at any second. Oh no, it's just like a wee blood ritual, you I know. Just need a dragon's a egg, dragon's egg and sacrifice. Egg. <laughs> Don't worry, Lol. everything normal guys. Don't worry, you know. We sneak in and there's only one dragon. A sleeping ancient red dragon to be precise. 
Cue the dude waking it up while we were trying to sneak around it because it was female. Female! Oh God. <laughs> Where my pee go? <laughs> oh my god, this boy's been watching too much Shrek. Oh, oh fuck yeah. <laughs> he rolls a natural 20, of course he does. DM handled it well. It was flustered and surprised, but that's it. And it said it wouldn't kill us for that. At least not immediately. We learned that apparently she had gone barren, or whatever that term is, and can't have any more children, and actually has no eggs, only a single child with a malformed wing. I offered to heal her child's wing, level 1 cleric and pathfinder, a cleric of Serenray, the goddess of redemption. She said if I could, we could live. I tried once, no effect. Twice, no effect. I then tried praying to my god, again to heal the child of a chaotic evil creature. Rolled a natural 20. Of course you did. <laughs> Why does everybody in Reddit roll natural 20s? I know, I know. <laughs> like, like, like I'm, I'm, I'm almost getting a bit point. I'm getting to the point where I'm kind of tired of the meme. Yeah, if no. you go a 1, you embarrass yourself. If you go a 20, you automatically break the rules of, uh, break, physics, break yeah. the rules of physics entirely. And everyone got <laughs> up and clapped at the end. Yeah, exactly. Rolled a natural 20 on the divine intervention roll. Not the actual ability of it existed. Just to see if my god would even help. And then an 18 on the next check, and it healed somehow. She then proceeded to let us leave, and we saw the chromatic horde of dragons, easily a few dozen, turn the human country into glass, in fact elementals, charged glass that would kill us if we touched it. We left, and a few sessions later, she showed up again, saying that she was interested in my character for everything I did, and wanted to come with me. We were level 1, so we couldn't exactly say no. Fucking level 1 and you bring a fucking dragon with me, (laughs) beast! (laughs) So I got the involuntary dragon waifu. Turns out her horde was family, and she could somehow control other dragons that were pining for her favour. After that campaign came to a halt, I learned from the DM like a year later that she was the real big bad evil guy, and that she wanted to use an ancient magic that the other alchemist big bad evil guy was going to use to become a being beyond God to turn everyone there's no spaces <laughs> a being beyond God to turn everyone on the continent into dragonkin including me so it may not be a single session but yeah my first time came from a that guy trying to seduce a dragon and to me somehow getting the real big bad evil guy to fall in love with or at least be amused by my character and have it follow us around all campaign I pulled a reverse bard the dragon was trying to suggest me. <laughs> hey, not bad. <laughs> not bad. Honestly, I'll give the DM credit that he rolled with it and just kept going. And, you know, he, really did, he was willing to work with that mm-hmm. and change things as they went. Yeah. You know, a lot of DMs would be like, no, this is not happening. It's doing this instead. And that's that. Yeah. You know, um, I, I, really, I I almost feel bad, though, that he actually did put in fucking wifey beat, though, at the same time. Yeah. Is he forgiven? Is he not? I don't know. You decide <laughs> down below. Let's know. <laughs> Next time on Neckbeardia. (laughs) Never mind, actually, we're going to the next post. Hey guys, this is just a quick bit of promo. We got our website up and running and we have a massive restock on most of the models. However, one of the cool things about the website is if there's a model that you're waiting on, you can enter your email and be put on a waiting list. And it's not just good for you so then you'll know when they're restocked. We can also see what you guys are waiting on and what we should be printing. (laughs) So either way, the models are by far the best way to support this channel and to help us do videos that YouTube would find inappropriate on the platform. (laughs) And like, let's be serious, the models are pretty based looking, so once again, just look at the titties. Look at the lizard titties! (laughs) But anyway, let's continue on with the video. Worst intro I had was the first time I ever played the game. My DM was a sleazy asshole who took advantage of me being new. He took control of my character, had her buy out the local brothel, made her grow a dick. (laughs) And <laughs> how does that even happen? How does that even happen? Who actually said, oh, I, I, I will this cock into being, you know what I mean, the hands on temple. Urgh, I just focus really hard. And just like, urgh. how does that, okay, never mind. Made her grow on. a dick and impregnate every girl working there while I sat by and couldn't do anything. This guy's got a major fit of, uh, Once I took back control of my character, I made her commit suicide and kicked the DM out of my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> we were only two sessions into the game. Yeah, I think... Uh, he, he, I was, he's got the audacity. He's to got go, the audacity. He's got the audacity to go around <laughs> to someone's house and genuinely just be like, yeah, I'm just so you know, I find this is my fetish. 
I'm gonna like <laughs> rub it in your face. Dick in your car. I'm gonna like rub my fetish right in front of your face. You're gonna play along for me, and then I'm gonna go home and then I'm gonna wank off to it later. <laughs> and that's what's going on. You know what I mean? Like, tell me that's not the case. Like, you know, yeah. that's what gets me when I come. Like, I, that's what gets me with the whole like vast, vast majority of like a lot of role play shit like that. It's like the only reason why people are putting this in is just so they can. They can just go home and pull the balls get off of themselves. Of I know get, it is. Yeah, it's that's, fully that's, is. All, that's what I see from it anyway, you know? My first game, none of us understood the rules, including the DM, Warlock. I use a cantrip, DM. What's a cantrip, Warlock? I'm not sure. I'll just use five daggers instead. <laughs> we really didn't understand oh, the rules. <laughs> I, I love the idea of that. The plus five D attack will be like, no, I've got, I've got I'm five. Just use them. Five daggers. Oh, that's cool. That's actually that, that's again that's almost endearing. You know, it yeah. actually is almost adorable. Yeah, that they got it so long, but I hope they enjoyed it. Everybody like, needs to learn. So you know, exactly, exactly. Everyone needs to learn. It's like whenever you're behind like learner drivers and they stall the car. It's like, look, uh, it's leave right. them be. Yeah, no, they need them, to learn. Let, let them have a bit of fun. It's fine. You know what I mean? I think that's one of the worst things you get a lot of the time. Like people like. <laughs> they don't have time <laughs> like, you know, for you people know. who want to play the game. Yeah, exactly. And then there's people who've probably been playing for years and like, oh my god, just uh, play. Just, just <laughs> learn what you're doing already. Yeah. And it's like, how, yeah. how, how do you expect anybody new to join games I think, like, or I, be interested in D&D if nobody's willing to teach them? Because you can read as many books yeah, as you yeah. want, you can watch as many videos as you want, but you do not know how to play that shit until you're sitting at a table. Yeah, pretty much. I yeah, completely agree with that. Um, I still have trouble sometimes. Yeah, exactly. I'm sitting you know, and I'm like, what do I roll? <laughs> wait, what wait. dice? <laughs> wait, wait, what? What's this? What? Where, uh-huh. Where's the scene? Where's that on my sheet? Yeah, you know what I mean. Like everyone's got to learn. Try and be nice to these people. You know what I mean? Because like you know, like, the way I look at it is, if someone shows up and they've got loads of enthusiasm and they're really into it and they really want to play and they want to get into it, that's way better than someone who already knows all the rules but is entirely cheated and just shows up and they're, like, and they're yeah. so pretentious and, and, they, and they just sit there silently the entire time and it's like. And then it's all it's like right, okay. <laughs> they sit there silently, and then their turn comes, and they like turn into this masterful. <laughs> <laughs> the role play leaks out. <laughs> yeah, tell me you haven't came across that. I'm fucking telling you. My first session was very similar, to be honest. None of us had played before, including the DM. He pitched the game to us as a fantasy role playing game where you can do and be basically whatever you wanted. This was senior year of high school, so we were all pretty dumb at the time. We needed a few silly sessions to get it out of our system before we really started to understand the game. One dude was a goliath with an intelligence of five. Hi. I have no idea. He ate rocks and would fuck anything that moved. <laughs> Sounds like anything Based with intelligence of five. <laughs> yeah. Raw animal, technically, yeah. raw animal spirit going on there. I was a half-orc barbarian who killed a bunch of cultists and drew obscenities all over town with shit and blood. Sounds nice. right. We somehow burned down a brothel and the horny, dumb Goliath was trying to fuck one of the other players. So that ended up in PvP (laughs) during the first session. Everyone was having fun and nobody was uncomfortable because we were all pretty close. But Jesus, when I look back on it years later, I cringe. Ah, don't cringe. Don't cringe. Like, don't it's all cr- fun. Look, you know what I mean? If you, everyone was having fun all the time, know, there's no cares. point in cringing, you know? About half of that group still play every week in a super roleplay heavy, serious campaign. The others decided the game wasn't for them, which happens, I suppose. Edit. I suppose I should mention the part where nobody understood how leveling up worked, so we were getting ASIs every level. I had like 20 in like three stats before we figured it out. Ended up starting from scratch. I bought every single book and now I am our table's rule lawyer. At the DM's request, not the obnoxious rule lawyer. Oh, that's good. I'm happy for him, yeah. you know what I mean? I, it, it worked out well and it worked out nice. And I wouldn't think, like, honestly, see when you think back, it's like, oh god, what was I thinking? What was I doing? Everyone has them cringy moments, you know what I mean? Like, who cares? As long as you enjoyed it, that's what matters, exactly. you know? Exactly. I'm currently in my worst and first. My poor husband really wanted me to try D&D, and I obliged. I wasn't opposed to the idea, but I certainly don't know D&D, and couldn't tell you what any classes and characters are, or what they can do, or what I can do. I'm a mess, but the DM fucking sucks. I've been sitting uninvolved for four to three hour sessions. Oh, God. Oh, and not because I'm not participating. 
It's because he's running full side stories for each person to get time with other characters before we can begin really playing to establish their interpersonal relationships and strengthen their commitment to each other and the quest. Oh my god, wait, how wait, boring. Okay, that does, so he's, oh my no, god. That does sound actually dreadful. Like, if you want to do this, please just do it one-on-one with the players mm-hmm. so the DM gets it. All the other players, most of the time, they don't need to know each no, other no. all that much. Now, you can weave a lot of stuff in, and if players want to, like, you know, this is what a group chat, yeah, this is you, what the Discord's for. Yeah, this, this is actually what the Discord's for. Absolutely no need for this. You do this throughout no the need. week, do this throughout the week, work on all that type of shit, but whatever you show up to actually play, actually fucking play. Yeah, you like, do not this need is, this. Like, see Maybe, like, if it's, like, session zero, like, a quick maybe 20 minute introduction from all the characters yeah. and maybe a bit about their backstory yeah. and I'm like I'm on about like 5 minute top. yeah 5 to 10 minutes yeah. talk about who your character is what their aspirations are why they're here why they're in the group what, you know yeah, what I mean but that's it but you, do, you literally do not need any more and I that. think like honestly you see this first time and you're sitting there for 3 to 4 hours just <laughs> doing nothing I would put there. anybody off I, I don't I, I put wouldn't anybody be, off I wouldn't blame anyone for never I wouldn't blame her for not wanting to play again no I couldn't imagine much worse she goes on to say, but my character is ready to go, so I don't need to develop that background. I was hired, so I'm committed, and everyone else has been recruited and needs convincing to come along. So they're visiting loved ones and gathering background info and securing items. Any day now, they might meet up with me in the foyer when they're ready to leave. Oh my uh, god. That's uh, that, so that, boring. You know what that is? That's death by a thousand cuts or death by a thousand boredoms. She goes on actually to say, somebody says, oh my God, that sounds so boring. And mm. she goes, yeah, it is very boring. Some characters are family members finding out, finding our family secrets and others are running off in pairs to gather materials and find out why they're both experiencing these moments. And I'm standing at the door looking at my watch. He occasionally throws me a bone and has some NPC come talk to me, but I roll a fail and gain nothing from the interaction. And nor do I particularly want to go digging for info from these characters, because we are four sessions in and have plumbed their minds of what we could already. I'm ready to leave, and the DM just keeps saying, Before we go, you guys can go and get things done. Get items and talk to your loved ones. We have done it twice, but my character doesn't have anybody. My husband keeps telling me I can just quit if I don't want to play, but the problem is I do want to play. I just can't. (laughs) (laughs) And we get a sitter for the nights when we play and it feels pointless. Oh Oh my my god, God. you're paying someone. You're paying someone to mind your kids while you're sitting there in fucking silence. Doing fucking nothing. nothing. I wouldn't show up until they're ready to play, but I'm still there. I'm still there. Tell me when you're ready to play. Yeah, I'll I'll just come back whenever you are actually that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I couldn't do that, to be honest with you. Like, I'm all for, like, heavy role play and shit like that. But, like, see if the game... Like, the, like, the way they're describing it, the game hasn't even fucking started. Like, that's really... I feel bad. Oh, I, I really feel bad. So, at least she still wants to play, though. Yeah, at least she still and, wants uh, to play. I'll give way out. Like, for me, I think if I didn't know anything about it, I don't know if I would. Uh-huh. I don't think I would have showed up. Mm-hmm. I, I think I would have showed up to the first game. See what I was like, oh, maybe... Yeah, Sometimes it's hard shit. enough for guys to get their wives to even look at something to oh, do yeah. with this and <coughs> big kiff big kiff for her to come sit there do nothing and not credit. walk away <laughs> I'll give her I'll give props her, I'll girl give her props. props because I, I don't know if I could sit especially for my first time I'd be like James look nah, this is boring this is a fucking dog shit <laughs> yes what, are you got, what have you got yourself into what is this I would come home with him and I'd be like is that it is that is that what you do in D&D <laughs> You just sit there and fucking play with your deck all day because there's nothing going on. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, getting effort in the chat for this poor woman. Well, guys, honest to God, I give these people props for even continuing to play after all that. I know. Um, it honestly seems genuinely fucking dreadful. Yeah. Um, for a lot of these people, so some of them aren't too bad. Some of them aren't as bad as others. You know what I mean? Some of them are a bit of exaggerated at how bad they are. Yeah. You know, I could deal with that. What was your time first time playing let us know what you thought yeah what it. was like, your you know, introductions yeah. to D&D like Ta- your first time playing was it shit was, was it good was it meme was it uh, funny yeah I think you most know. people just meme it up the first yeah. time especially if you're playing with a lot of people who actually don't know what they're doing like they all just fuck dice at each other yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> it's 
and see what happens. You know what I mean? Just uh, just a wee fuck about. You yeah. know what I mean? But I think a lot of people need that anyway. Yeah. You know, to be able to get a taste for it. Yeah, exactly. You know, and you don't really know what you're doing. And let's be honest, but even when people do know what they're doing, the highlights fucking poor in acting when it really comes to role Yeah. Thing. Like let's be honest. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, it is. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, is, it is poor in tier level acting. <laughs> no, a lot of people. Yeah, it is. So like you know, like, you know what? I, pff, never mind. Never mind. But let us know down below what your experience, your first experiences were. And we might do a video on yeah. it if we get enough good ones. And check out all the links, check out the ad for it, it really helps us out. Yeah, the models do. Also, we've got that simple work subclass, it's going to be up for sale very soon. It's only going to be a pound. <laughs> so, something to check out. Something to check out. You're the Pete Leon of the, uh, the Ethereal Thought. Oh, Ooh, you oh. guys will love it. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>